bowling as good as he's ever bowled in his life. Can he be stopped by Jason Couch? Three pin for Brian Voss, who went over the million dollar mark by winning his last tournament, Homestead, Florida, in 1992. of Paula Carter lanes which were obliterated by the hurricane and they're back doing it again. Rebuilding Homestead lanes just south of Miami and we'll have a pro tournament there later on in 1993. Now from Florida the 1992 rookie of the year our tournament leader powerful Jason Couch. 23 year old left hander 5'10", 165 pounds. You talk about a powerful style, the contemporary style of a young man. Good position. Look at a little stutter step here with his feet. He's going to drive straight through at the top of that swing. Look at that wrist cocked. Arm close to his body. That's so important in all bowling. And he just saws that five out in his opening shot. television appearance and this is an indoctrination. You bet. He goes right through the heart of the pins, leaves the 4, 6, 10. I said it. What he needed to do is keep his arm close to his body. He didn't on that particular shot. Leaves this split. He, all he's going to try to do is knock the 6, 10 out. Hopefully he can get something to bounce into the 4. So it's an open frame for our tournament leader. The best finish this year was 10th in Las Vegas. His opponent, Brian Voss, was second in Baltimore. Perhaps has, well, definitely has an experience edge. He's going to get a lot of practice bowling three yeah, pins. Shots. You're right, Chris. Back to back three pins as we heard him comment on a bad shot. Head pin goes to the left sideboard, comes around and tips out the six. That's uh, kind of a savior because the three six is a very choppable spare. This is very simple, just the three. For the statistics buffs of television, this is our 744th TV finals. And the tournament leader, that would be Jason Couch, tournament leaders have won 45.5% of the matches. So a little less than 50%. However, this year, tournament leaders are 9 and 3, 75%. He likes this one. Just determination. I like those eyes. So does he. The result. Great comeback after an open frame by last year's Rookie of the Year, Jason Couch, who stayed in the regional program of the PBA an extra year, and here's why. Well, I had the money to come out here in 91 but only for the summer and the fall stops. And I didn't think that'd be enough to win the Rookie of the Year honor. So I stayed back an extra year. I bowled the regional program, had a great deal of success there. I won five times and cash in almost all of my tournaments. And I felt like that I could come out here and compete after doing that well in the regional program. He has eight total regional titles. So he is ready for the top spot, but Voss is his opponent. We'll be back. Windsor, Locks, Connecticut, the Hartford area. Brian Voss of Boca Raton, Florida. 12-time champion, bowler of the year 1988. Trails by one, Kenteka, nine pin, whoops. He leads by one, Kenteka, an 11 pin lead. Ooh, breaks up the split. Well, for Voss to stay boss in this match, he has to keep his ball speed up. We saw the 4-9 become a pivotal shot when he defeated Billy Young as Billy left the 4-9 here. Brian gets a break as the two-pin goes around the four and takes out the nine. An easy spare. All right, one of 
the 16 300 bowlers this week. David Ozio. Thanks, Chris. We're with uh, our King of the Hill, Ricky Ward. Uh, Ricky, you're uh, the type of player that uh, is just starting to come into your own uh, in the past few years. I mean, you, since you started, you were Rookie of the Year. You're going to bowl against Jason Couch, possibly that was Rookie of the Year, or Brian Voss, who is one of the wily veterans uh, of the tour. Uh, you were you were a type of player that you know struggled, but now you've turned into somebody. You're in demand. Uh, what do you think about all this success? How have you been handling it? I think uh, three three main factors are is uh, discipline, attitude, and dedication. It's a goal to come out here and win, and that's what I want to do. It's what I live for, and I'm ready to go. Do you care who you bowl today? Uh, not really. I just think I want to throw 12 frames and uh, see if my score wins. Chris, I think he's fueled for a fight. That's right. Thanks, David. <laughs> That's three in a row and a nine pin lead for Jason Couch, our tournament leader. Jason, 23 years old. Uh, his his mother, Darlene, is his coach. And his fiance, who he says is his good luck charm, mm -hmm. Kelly Ryan, here rooting him on. Right now, he has a nine pin lead. All right. Coming up in the sixth frame. The big hook ball player will be in this zone. He'll be right between the second and third arrows. Needs to keep the speed up. Boy, Chris Schenkel, for a guy who's never been tested, he looks tough. That's right. Just one away from his first PBA title. Boss needs to get the ball right about here. That's a reflection right there, that line. He needs to get the ball right through here. That's a 45-foot mark on the lane. That's his break point. Come on, Brian! Inside that target, another bad break, the 7-10 split. Boss actually has a chance to make it. He'll use a lot of ball speed and go a rocket shot at the 10-pin. Roth did it once. Let's see if Boss can do it. Not to be. Brian Voss, seven top 24 appearances and eight caches in 12 tournaments. Boss checking the scoreboard, potential 227, but he hasn't been right around the pocket he was as he was in the semifinal match. For Brian, he has to go to the whip at this point. A lot of ball speed, a lot of power, and hopefully put some pressure on Jason Couch. Seventh frame. Here in his 47th television appearance. Bewildered, he's had quite a journey. Confused. He made a move left on the lane, thinking that adjusting left, which is the normal move, would work on this championship pair. It doesn't because the lanes are so slick in the center. 